YouTube, it's book haul time. And boy, do I have a book haul for you. This is a large stack of books. These books are from a combination of Black Friday sales, um, I just got a bookseller job and we had 40% off of everything, and my birthday. Let's get to the haul because it's a big one. The first book I got was actually a few months ago, but I haven't hauled it yet and I really wanted to show it off, and that is The Midnight Star by Marie Lu. I actually went to a release event for this book at uh, Barnes & Noble, so I met her and she signed it. So there we go. I got her to sign my copies of uh, The Young Elites and of the Rose Society, but this is the only one that was like personalized, but still pretty cool. I really like this book, maybe not as much as the other ones, but it was still really cool to meet the author. Next I went a little bit crazy on the book outlet Black Friday scale sale, but I really can't pass up 30% off and $5 off of $20 uh, Black Friday sale on book outlet. Like, I got so many books for so cheap. And I don't think I really know uh, what all of these books are about anymore. I kind of just went through the site and found ones that looked interesting or that I had heard of, so I'll do my best with summaries. So the first book I got is a graphic novel and it's called Apocalyptic Girl, an Aria for the End of Times by Andrew McLean. I actually already read this and it was super good. I'll talk a little bit more about it in my upcoming wrap-up video where I'll go through all the books that I've read recently. It was really good and it's a, like a one-shot graphic novel so this is it. I thought there were more volumes but it wraps up really nicely and it's like a one-shot story. It starts so many graphic novels not knowing that they're a series and then I'm just like I have so much to buy. Next I got Trial by Fire by Josephine Angelini. So this book is basically a girl who gets taken from I guess our world and put into this fantasy world. The description to this book seemed really Really interesting what I read about it. I didn't really read any reviews because I just read stuff that I want to read. I really like the concept of just kind of like being transported into a magical world. That's a concept that I really want to happen to me but I know it never will. Also the main character has like really bad allergies and I am a sufferer of allergies. I just had to go get an allergy shot today so my throat feels terrible. Even though like my allergies aren't life-threatening they are very uncomfortable, but they've gotten better. Still, I relate to characters who have bad allergies. Next, I got Winter Spell by Claire Legrand. Hopefully, that's how you say it. What drove me to this book is that the cover is super pretty. <laughs> this book is essentially, it's like 1899, so it's like period piece. She has to go and do some avenging of some sort, I think, and there is curses and magical creatures, so like period a fantasy novel? Yes, please sign me up. Next I got We Were Liars by E. Lockhart, which is a book that I see everywhere and just like I feel like I need to read it. Just heard it's really good and I really want to read it. Next I got The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray. I don't know anything about this book. The description sounded like YA fantasy and you know I'm just all about that YA fantasy. I'm the most unhelpful booktuber ever because I literally just buy things that have pretty covers. I'm not too happy with this edition because it is a hardcover. No dust jacket and I really like dust jackets, but you know it was book outlet and it was probably five dollars. Next I got Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, which is a book I've been hearing about for years and they just made a movie in about it and Matt Smith is in it. I think he plays Mr. Collins, which is really funny. Haven't seen the movie. I really like Pride and Prejudice, so um, I will give it a try. Next I got Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes and another, what a surprise, YA fantasy. There's a lot of books in this haul, I don't have time for descriptions. Next I got Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I've already read this book, it's super cute, I really recommend it. But the only reason I got this is because one, I didn't have it and two, it completes my collection. See, now I have all three of those books in the set. Two of them are paperback and one is hardcover which kind of bothers me but it's still complete. That's all the book outlet books. Next we have the books that I bought from my bookseller position sale. Uh, we had an employee appreciation week, so I bought a bunch of stuff. Some were Christmas presents, a lot of it was books for me. First book I got was Subasa Reservoir Chronicles Omnibus Number 2, which I loved, and I love Clamp, and I love Subasa, and I just want all of the Sakura and Shaoran things ever. Really good, I loved it, I've already finished it. 
obviously. <laughs> Next I got The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. So this is a contemporary romance. I've heard it's really really good. I think John Green just um, recommended it as one of his best books of the year or something like that. It sounds super cute and super good and this cover is gorgeous. Of course I got the screenplay for Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Haven't read it yet but I have seen the movie three times already. I will be finishing this probably in the next few days because I'm going to upload a review about it. So I wanted to read the screenplay before I did that also. Next I got Heartless by Marissa Meyer. I wanted to get this the day it came out but I knew that the, like the next week we were getting our employee discount so I waited and I'm really really excited to read this. I haven't picked it up yet and it's killing me. Fairy tale retellings are like my kryptonite. I love them so much. This one is based off of the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland and I can't wait to read it. Also this cover is so pretty. It's so pretty. Next I got Giant Days Volume 3. This is a graphic novel series that I really like. It's about uh, three girls in college kind of discovering life, love, and um, how to be a girl in society. Why haven't I read this yet? It's so short and I'm behind on my reading goal. And finally from my bookseller position I got Dan and Phil Go Outside. Because I am complete Dan and Phil trash uh, I just had to pick up their newest book. I loved uh, Amazing Book is Not on Fire and I saw them on tour and they're super cute and I'm obsessed with them and I think all of my suggested videos are still Dan and Phil videos. Have to watch something else. <laughs> but this was really cute. It's just kind of like a giant picture book thing about their tour that they went on. It has commentary and little stories from tour. It was just really cute and really fun. Okay, and then my books for my birthday. <laughs> my boyfriend gave me My True Love Gave to Me. This is the paperback edition. I actually already have this book. I think I need to give him a list of books that I just want that I don't have yet so he doesn't end up buying me the books I already have. This was good because I don't think I finished this sort of like Christmas compilation of short stories. My mom has my hardcover copy and she lives across the country. I'll probably finish this up this holiday holiday season, finally, because I don't think I've read all the stories in it. And finally, my my crowning jewel, which kind of puts a good wrap up to this year with books, and that is my Christmas present to myself. And let me tell you, this was a pain in the butt to get. So it was supposed to get here on my birthday, it was on the 8th, and today is the 14th, and it just got here today. I'm really mad at my post office because I didn't get this in time for my birthday, but it's okay because it's already here. I got the full Lunar Chronicles set all in hardback and I'm so happy. So I have read this series before but I listened to it on audiobook and I really wanted physical copies because I love this series so much. Like it's like one of my favorite series ever. It's so cool. It's fairy tale relic tellings and it's sci-fi and it's great. I'm just really happy that I have this all in hardcover. The only bad thing is, is one, um, this box set that it comes in, this box is just like really like flimsy. I thought it was gonna be nice like my Harry Potter box set, but no. Also, um, it's kind of destroyed. So um, I'm going to be sending another um, angry email. One was about my shipping. The other is about the condition of my box set. Oh, and side note, I haven't read Ferris yet, so um, I was kind of debating on not doing it, but it came in the box set, so um, I'm gonna read it anyway. Oh, and then finally I picked up the first Throne of Glass book um, by Sarah J Maas, uh, but I got that on ebook. So I'm in the middle of reading that right now and I don't know how I feel about it. But those are all of my books in my haul. It was such a big haul, I can't pick any of these books up because I have 22 books in this Haul. Been a while since I bought some books and I got a lot of these for like super cheap so I didn't spend a whole bunch of money. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books, uh, which ones have you read, what did you like about them, which one should I read next. And just in case you didn't know, I am making a video every single day until Christmas. I am calling it the 12 days of Vlogmas because I missed out on the first half of Vlogmas. There's a video every single day on my channel right here until Christmas. Alright, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me and if you want to get updated on when I release a video, which will be really important in the next 12 days at least, because I'm making a video every day. Make sure you hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you will be notified when I make a video. Alright, that's all I've got for you guys today. I'm Christy Lou. Till next time, matane!